An American university professor is causing a stir with his book of parenting tips, Selfish Reasons to Have More Kids, in which he tells parents they need to take a back seat and chill out. Now, amongst his controversial claims, Professor Brian Kaplan says activities kids participate in, like swimming, won't make the slightest difference in benefiting them in the long run. But that's something many Aussies here disagree with. Swim Australia and myself have got a program going at the moment to prove that children who have swimming lessons from an earlier age physically are better coordinated, they're healthier and they're more intelligent. You couldn't tell him otherwise, but Professor Kaplan, meanwhile, meanwhile has coined the phrase serenity parenting, telling mums and dads they need to lighten up and just enjoy the journey. So could he be on to something? Well, to discuss this, we're joined now from Brisbane by psychologist, associate professor Alan Ralph of the Parent and Family Support Centre and in Sydney, parenting expert Karen Miles. Good morning to you both. Morning. Alan, let's start with you. What do you make of uh, the professor's advice? Well, uh, there's so many parenting books around that if you're going to have a new one out, you've got to get people's attention. And one of the best ways of doing that is really trying to make some extreme statements that are the opposite of what the current fashions are. Um, and, and that's what we seem to be seeing here. Do you think it's irresponsible, Alan, uh, for a professor to pen a book like this? Who cares whether he's trying to make you know, a statement or not? I mean, saying he's trying to justify his own laziness. Th that's what they're saying <laughs> about him. I, yeah, I mean, I think it is, it, it can be irresponsible. I mean, parents uh, are, are confused. They keep getting different messages, different stories. I mean, if you look at some of the things he's saying, they're perfectly respectable and reasonable. That Yes, parents should love their children, they should spend time with them, they should try and relax. But at other things, uh, they do need to make sure they have a healthy diet. They do need to make sure they have an active lifestyle as well. So it's getting the balance right that's uh, mm. the real challenge. All right, Karen, let's bring you in. You, you actually agree with some of the points Professor Kaplan's making, that we are, in fact, over-parenting our kids, yeah? Absolutely. Now, I know the sanctum mummies at the school gate today are not going to like what I have to say, but I do believe there are too many parenting theories and classes, and we're over-scheduling and hot-housing our children. Parenting doesn't need to resemble an episode of The Amazing Race. <laughs> True. Um, Karen, he also says the most effective way to ensure you have successful kids is to pick a spouse with the traits that you want your kids to have. Um, do you agree with that? Well, presumably you've picked your spouse based on something good about them. Mm -hmm. But I think it comes back to the old nature versus nurture debate. When I look at my children, and I'm sure lots of parents would agree, you can see your personality traits, your skills and your interests that are reflective of you and your partner. And I think it doesn't matter how many brainy baby DVDs you show them, they are, de they are determined to be who they want to be and express those interests themselves. So I think what we really need to be doing is loving our kids and giving them lots of attention. All right. The debate has raged on for thousands of years and will continue to for the next <laughs> few thousand years. Thank you very much, Alan and Karen. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Bye. Tuesday swimming day in the Gillies household. Yes, will you be riding your bike with them? <laughs> Head for you. <laughs> Do you know next time you say, boys, time to ride the bike with mummy, they're going to run. <laughs> they're not going to ever see that footage because it would traumatise them, I'm sure. Yes. Um, if that's true, it would be, uh, you know, I would understand, but I will be showing it. <laughs>